let's start off uh, how we kind of followed the guidelines of uh, Charlie Brooker's nudes package was through when Rai was standing in the public. We took the idea from Charlie Brooker from when he was walking down in the public and we set it so that we could see Rai standing in front of the festival and I think it had a great effect. However, what we couldn't account for was the moving camera, which was a shame, but there were some drawbacks, obviously, throughout the production. What we also did was get Rai to stand outside of the uh, Capital FM building down Leicester Square. So we did, an, we did him talking outside of there. So I believe that the stuff Rai was saying with his hand gestures also gave us uh, kind of more emphasis on his points, which we also followed from Charlie Brooker's news package. Then we went to a bit where Rai was actually walking down and then we kept uh, skipping shots. So it, so it's kind of sped up with him hopping f closer and closer by the second. So we actually originally had to film him walking the complete distance, but with editing, we used uh, uh, Adobe Premiere Elements to uh, make it look like he's coming faster and faster. So we just kept cutting some scenes out, but that's what Charlie Brick also said. So having cutaways, uh, to hide the gaps so we followed his interviews uh, the way he's done his interview so we had an interview with the rand with the band and got their opinions on uh, some of the topics that we asked them so this was an independent music band just as Charlie Brooker was also interviewing random people on the table opening the mill and then uh, where he said uh, to introduce graphics we kind of took the idea as well and I myself put together some graphics along with other people from the team. Uh, so it would look like, again, we had facts and figures on the screen to put the audience kind of more into it to make it more immersive. Otherwise, obviously, it would be too boring for people to watch if they couldn't keep up with it. Otherwise, we, since we're trying to appeal to a younger audience as well, I mean, obviously, it could appeal to older, but the way we've designed this more to younger people, younger bands. We thought that we could also add in some, you know, a little bit more detail to what we've done. By that I mean we added some more extra graphics in the background. So we knew, so we looked like we were actually doing a lot more than we actually were. It, it was just a lot of confusing stuff on the screen for the audience to keep their mind off what's actually happening. So we had an interview with uh, Shay, who was uh, pretending to be a producer. So. In the interview, we actually have her on the top right of the screen whilst we're scrolling around on the computer. So the audience doesn't just lose track and drift off because obviously it would be completely boring just to have it on one person at a time. And trying to appeal to younger audience as well. That's what we had to do. We also had random uh, public questions we asked people. So this is what Charlie Brooke also did. He went up to people, asked them stuff, and then they would give obviously not real replies, but that's what we did, but with real people and real replies, asking about music piracy. And then we kind of didn't do much like Charlie Brooke did on his outro. We just did a normal outro we wanted to do.